How's it going everybody? My name is Rewind the Gamer and today you are going to be watching a 67 and 3 domination game on the map Yemen. I'm only playing with one person on party and it is a 6v6 domination game instead of ground war this time. Um, I'm using the PDW customized with three attachments. They are extended mag, silencer, and I think the stock. Uh, the custom stock is something, or the adjustable stock is something that I've been using a lot, uh, a lot more recently than I had been. I have come to like it a lot more than I, I used to as well, uh, because it is basically the map stalker from Modern Warfare. The, the map, the perk stalker from Modern Warfare 3. If you didn't know what stock does. And yeah, it helps you move when ADSing, you move uh, much quicker than normal. So, in this game, I end up getting 67 kills, which is not bad in a 6v6 in my opinion. I could have gotten a lot more, or at, at least a few more, like maybe 10 more kills probably, had the other team not quit out at one point. And uh, yeah, connection in, connection in this game is also really weird because... Uh, the skill-based matchmaking will pair you up with people who are more like your, more like you in terms of your stats and skills, and these people could be from who knows where, which could really, really hurt the connection in in the game, uh, rather than just putting you up with other people in your area that are also playing. So yeah, that's one bad thing about skill-based matchmaking. The other thing is that uh, the players that you play against are either actually good. Or they boost for their stats, or not boost, but they they camp, they head glitch, and if they if they don't get what they like, if they don't get the scores that they like, then they'll leave. Which is a uh, probably one of the other r r terrible things about skill based matchmaking. And so I really hope they address it. A lot of people have been hating it, and I'm one of them. Uh, I can understand what they were trying to do, like um, putting you up against people who are like you in in skill makes the game more competitive and I I definitely understand what they're doing it what they're doing it for but um, I don't know why they decided to put it in the public matchmaking because they already have the league game modes and the league play which is meant for competitive gameplay so um, for some reason Treyarch decided to put two competitive competitively aspect game modes and playlists so yeah that would, I'm not sure what they're thinking about there, but, uh, and the other thing about skill based matchmaking is that people still pub stomp. They said that, uh, Vonderhaar tweeted, pub stomping is dead, I'm pretty sure. I'm taking this information from another commentary that I watched, but apparently Vonderhaar tweeted that pub stomping is dead, and it frustrates me because people can still pub stomp. I pub stomp. I get plenty of, uh, high high kill games and I I can still beat people um, so I mean I really don't understand why they needed to put the skill based matchmaking in the game it's just something that uh that they definitely definitely need to look at to see whether or not they want to keep it but uh, more about the gameplay I am running lightning strike and the orbital vsat and the lodestar i think they're the exact same score streaks that i ran in the last commentary it's also the same gun i apologize for that i i should probably try to get some more variety but but in this game i get three lodestars and i decided to cut out the second one just to save some time and uh i left the last one in because it only got about two kills and i edited out a couple of the areas where the game was not the game was not watchable basically because uh, there's only like two enemies on the other team waiting for more people c to connect and just a whole bunch of other issues and maybe I used a score streak or two or I I just decided to camp for a little bit I don't know maybe maybe that happened a couple times but um, other things that I would like to talk about about this game is I don't really understand why in every single turn in corner of a map there's a spot for you to head glitch behind. Like, um, what's the map? I'm thinking maybe raid, or I don't know. It's at the tip of my tongue. I can't. I, I just can't remember the map for some reason. But uh, in in one of them in particular, but it, it, it's in a lot of them. There's just spot after spot to let you head glitch behind, and I don't really understand why. There are so many of those. Play
players in the skill-based matchmaking, the better ones apparently, says Treyarch, they will be the ones that just hide behind these spots, waiting for people to run across and run by, and there's literally nothing you can do because you lose every single gunfight in this game. So, like, even right right there by the by the A flag there's a spot where you can head glitch behind and there's so many of these in the game and in every map I don't really understand it because it's not it's not possible to kill somebody who's just waiting for you and they're head glitched behind a, some sort of barrier so I really don't know what they were thinking about um, when they added all of these I mean I like the maps in general there are a couple ones that I can't stand like Express and uh, turbines okay, but uh, and uh, another one that I dislike would be carrier. Uh, I really don't like those maps. But even in the ones that I do like, there are so many spots where people just sit and head glitch. So I just I just things. This game, this game is so close. It could be the best Call of Duty had it not had skill based matchmaking. Um, I mean, even even if they took out skill-based matchmaking, those headshot, those head glitch spots, would probably be less used because the people that you would come across, that I come across, I guess, would be less likely to use them because they don't really think about something like that since they're not the best kids in the world. But I'm just been a little frustrated with this game. As you see there, I leveled up. I am six prestige now. But um, I just think little things about this game frustrate me. I wish they would fix connection, matchmaking, um, not sure what else they can do. I don't think they can take out things in the maps. Um, that would probably be the thing that I would want the most because I just get killed by too many head glitching people with their light machine guns and their AN-94s. But. Uh, yeah, that's been the commentary. The gameplay is wrapping up. I get my final load star and get the kill cam with it, but you guys don't get to see that since I recorded this in theater. So I will see you guys later. Sorry for all the ranting. Goodbye.